It's Wild Wednesday. Ha ha. So, you know, the meerkats at the Houston Zoo are feeling wild today. Let's see what they're up to this morning. Zookeeper Jamie Quirk is with the cats right now. Hey, Jamie, tell us a little bit about these meerkats. Hi. Well, we currently have four in our mob. They're being a little shy right now, but we have Capone, our male, who's off to the side, and our three females, Kit, Dottie, and May. Um, they are a matriarchal society, so there will be one female that's in charge of the mob, and they will kind of give everyone their jobs, and they're the only one that's allowed to produce pups. So right now, our girls haven't quite figured that out, but we're hoping that they will soon so that we can have some pups here at the Houston Zoo. And we have Miss May popping her head out right here. Little cuties. So are they? So these are our three girls. Are they? Are these babies? They are. Yes. Yeah. So, no. These girls turned four in April, so they are fully grown. Um, fully grown meerkats mere are about two pounds. So these guys are a little bit over conditioned, but yes, they are full grown. Now, would you consider these rodents, or how are they classified? They are in the mongoose family, so they are not rodents. Um, they are almost like weasels. <laughs> Tell me what it's like. You, you said maybe a little, a little bit overly so. What's the difference between them living with you all versus what, what we would encounter if, if they were in the wild? So with us, um, we do give them their space. We don't ever try and um, touch them or anything like that. But in the wild, they live in groups of up to 40 or more. So we have a pretty small group here. Um, but in the wild, yes, there would be a large group of them, and they all come together, and they ha each have jobs. Um, the dominant female will assign everyone else jobs to do. Um, so here they have everything given to them so they live a pretty good life but in the wild they would be spending most of their days foraging, um, looking for food, keeping on the lookout for predators and they'd have a lot of numbers to help them with that. You mentioned looking for food. What type foods do they eat? Are they grubs, insects or grains or anything of that nature? So they are opportunistic eaters which they will pretty much eat whatever they can find. They do prefer um, bugs, grubs, and things like that, as well as small rodents, um, some reptiles as well. Anything that they can catch, really, um, they will eat. And here they also really enjoy their fruits and veggies, and they love their lettuce. I like their little peekaboo, their little peekaboo games. So yeah. when, when's the best time to see them? <laughs> Are they like early risers? Do they like to hang out until the evening? So they are diurnal, so they will wake up with the sun, um, and they'll come out and warm up their bodies with the sun, and they will then start their day of foraging. And when the sun goes down, they will go back to sleep. So usually when you, you can come here first thing in the morning, and they're pretty active, and then midday they'll get kind of sleepy and rest a little bit and cool down, and then keep foraging for food throughout the day. Okay. Well, thank you so very much for joining us. Jamie Quirk with the Houston Zoo with the, uh, the meerkats. Thank you. Very interesting creatures.